Good morning. Our message this morning is better than life, found in Psalm 63. How would you describe your attitude as you go through the desert seasons of your life? <clears throat> A lot of us would say not very well. And Psalm 63 will help us better prepare for such seasons and you will go through seasons in a desert. Psalm 63 verse 3 says, Because your love, God's love, is better than life, my lips will glorify you. That should be our theme, uh, should be our, our cry, because God loves us better than life. I will glorify you. Mary Anonymous, we're not giving out her last name, loved Jesus. She loved him more than life, right? And she had some very hard times. She had a rough life. Two of her sons preceded her in death, along, as well as two grandsons who were victims of shootings. And Mary herself suffered a stroke that left one side of her body completely paralyzed. But it, <laughs> this lady is amazing. It didn't let her slow her down. It didn't slow her down. She got well enough, got back to her church where she uh, was singing praises to God. One of her things that she would praise God, she would often heard saying, my soul loves Jesus, praise his holy name. She would repeat this over and over. In Psalm 50, verse 15 says, Call upon me in the days of your trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. A command from God that when you go through these troubled times, like Mary, uh, God will deliver us, and then we are to glorify him, praise his holy name. Mary was doing exactly as God told her to do. He, she was praising God with, his, with her favorite line, my soul loves Jesus, praise his holy name. Amen, amen. But long before Mary was praising God, David had penned the Psalm 63. He was in a desert place. Matter of fact, he was in the desert of Judah. And things were not going David's way. And he was in a desperate situation. But his, yeah, he didn't lose hope because he knew his hope was in his God. It says in verse 1 of Psalm 63, You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek thee. I thirst for you as we should in a dry and parched land where there is no water, water being spiritual joy. There was no joy where David was. <clears throat> Perhaps we have found ourselves some time or another in this situation, a place of difficulty without direction, without knowing which way we should turn, without adequate resources in order to get out of a situation. <clears throat> Unfortunately, these situations, they can confuse us, but they don't have to derail us. <clears throat> if we cling to the one who, in verse 3, loves us, in verse 5, satisfies us, in verse 7, helps us, and in verse 8, whose right hand upholds us. That's in verse 6. That's in Psalm 63. That's what David was doing. He was he was trusting his God to deliver him from the desert that he was in <clears throat> because God loves us. What? Better than life. Better than life. Like Mary, David <clears throat> was expressing her gratitude towards God, glorifying God. I love it. I love her line. My soul loves Jesus. Just beautiful. And that was from her heart. Second Chronicles twenty fifteen b Thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid, nor dismayed, by the season of this great, by the reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Remember that. The battle is not yours, it's God. Pray with me this prayer. 
Jesus, I am grateful. And I praise you in this dry land, this desperate time that I am in. My life, Lord, is in your hands. Deliver me because your love is better than life. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen, amen. I hope you have a great Sunday and uh, God bless.